Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today's project is going to be a cute little basket. Now I first saw this on um, QBsQuest.com um, designed by Brenda Quintana and thank you Brenda for a fabulous um, inspiration. So I just loved this so I'm going to show a little video um, of how um, I made it and uh, how Brenda designed it. So we're going to start off with the big shots. We're going to use the floral frames um, dies and we're going to use the very large one. Uh, this one here in the middle, oh, sorry that size there, and this little tiny one here. And I'm going to use Wisteria Wonder to cut out the biggest one. Let's line that up on the board. And you need all your tabs for... Uh, for this project and then I'm going to take some um, elegant eggplant it's a little wide so I'm just going to overlap those a bit and I'm going to cut out the two smaller shapes okay Put the plate on the top there and then I can do this all in one pass through the big shot we go. Okay I'm going to start off with the largest piece and the smallest piece for a little stamping and um, we're going to use the uh, Daydream Medallion uh, stamp set. Now this, this actually matches up with those dies and just to show you if you stamp all the medallions together you get this beautiful effect and of course you can then um, uh, cut those out and layer them up and it just looks fabby. So I'm going to use the Elegant Eggplant ink and ink up this stamp and just kind of eyeball that. That's going to be roughly in the middle. And make sure I'm going to press down all the elements there. Um, the bigger the stamp, the more you press. The smaller the stamp, the lighter the pressure. So I'm just going to also stamp that one. I don't know how well you can see that but it's just pretty pretty pretty. Okay next we're going to uh, bring in the trimmer. Um, usually with scoring I would use my uh, Simply Scored scoring tool but for this particular project um, the trimmer works really well because of lining up the points and the valleys. So there's the point sort of the mountain of that um, flower and I'm going to score. Then I'm going to turn it to in between the petals, the valley of the flower, and score again. And the mountains. And as I say, it's just slightly easier, I think, on the trimmer to, to get these points lined up um, than on the Simply Scored in this particular case. And I'm going to go all the way around, which means I'm going to have to do this eight times and get all those scores in and one more I believe okay back to one side so if you can see now that's scored all the way round now I'm not quite sure how Brenda did this but I'm going to show you how I did it because what we want is for these lines on the valleys, if you like, to be coming forward and these to be going outwards. So the easiest way I found to do is, first of all, I'm going to reinforce those valley lines. And how I'm doing that is with the pattern facing me. So facing upwards, go around and do all four of those. Valley, 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 that's the one we haven't done. And then in order to get these poking outwards, the opposite way we're going to go. So with the, um, the stamped pattern that we've got hidden, we're now going to fold those. And there's the final one. So I'm not quite sure whether this is how... Brenda did hers, but I found it the easiest way. 
Okay, now I'm going to put the piece in the middle and um, the way I found the best was with um, sticky strip and usually, as you know, with Tombow Girl, if you watch my videos regularly, um, but uh, sticky strip works really well with this particular project. So one going in that direction. Oop. And one going in the other direction. Doesn't this stuff always get stuck to you? Okay. And, <laughs> and then that's going to go right in the middle. There we go. And press down. Um, now I'm going to do the back piece. So that was this one that we cut out. Um, and again, sticky strip, um, I'm going to also at the same time attach the handle. So sticky strip going across. And sticky strip is contact adhesive, so the harder you press it down, the easier it is to peel off the backing. Always seems a bit sort of counterintuitive to do that, but it is true. Press it down hard and then it should peel off easily. Okay, now on my sample one, when I was practicing with this, um, I did it with the um, the punch to actually make the, the handle, but I've got an, I thought of an even prettier way of doing the handle, so I should be doing that today. So I'm going to start off, this is just a half inch piece of cardstock, and I'm going to line that up on one of those petals. I'm going to want to line this with a valley, so I'm putting that in the middle but lining that with a valley and I'm being careful not to press down on this side because I'm going to come all the way around and press down that side there. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of um, a sticky strip um, at the end actually on the sides of the handles because I just think it makes it uh, work a little bit better and now I'm going to do the magic bit which is squeeze those valley ones inwards and because you've already done them they want to do that and that's how you get your little basket shape and isn't that cute so as I say mm, I might not do it on this one. Um, with my other one, I did feel that it needed a little bit of sticky strip kind of here and here, which I haven't done, but I'm thinking that. But, you know, with this one, I'm not sure that it does need that. I think that's working basket-wise very well. So my final touch is I'm taking some of the beautiful um, vanilla flower trim. Um, I've actually just sort of run that. I'll just show you through the... Um, Wisteria Wonder ink pad. I don't want there to be loads and loads of Wisteria Wonder so I'm just kind of touching those flowers as I go along. See, do you see I've just got a little bit of Wisteria Wonder. You could put more on if you, um, if you prefer. And then I'm just going to put a little snail on the end in the middle doesn't need very much because this is very light so it doesn't need a lot of weight to hold it. I'm going to start in the middle there and then roll out to the edges. And how cute is that to finish the basket? So thank you again to Brenda for an absolutely fabulous inspiration. Um, have, a, have fun go making some of these baskets and I look forward to your visiting Elizabeth Stamp Room again.